so we're going to try and keep this under three minutes. Um, shouldn't take longer than that. But I'm going to show you how to create a simple chart using data. Um, so what we have here is two rows of data, one for Australia, one for South Africa. These are the top five cities in each of those countries by population. Um, and we've got dec we're using decimals at this point just to keep the numbers short, but we're going to set the um, the values in the chart to explain a little bit more. So simply just go to insert, recommended charts. I like to go with a cluster column um, and press OK. And then we have and set for each of those top five countries, uh, top five cities in each of those countries. We have the different color variations and we haven't um, got any labels in yet to explain more, but we're gonna, we're gonna put those in. First thing I want to do is change the title of the chart and we'll just say um, top five cities by population. Um, I want to explain this axis a little bit more. Right now it's just a series of numbers but we're going to give it a label to help explain it more. So we'll click on that and we're going to add an element. And so for this, we're going to add an access title. And the default one is just what we want. It's a vertical title. And if we click on that, and then select the text and change the title to um, population in millions. All right, so now we know what, what numbers we're dealing with. Um, I'm happy with uh, this legend down the bottom showing the different cities for each country. I don't really need the access tile, so we're going to just delete that. Um, but it's still missing a couple of things, and I think that are important is the different cities in each of these countries. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate each column. You notice that if you select on the series, so let's select the blue series, they all come up. But we only want one. We're only putting a label on one of these. So we're just going to click again and you can see that this blue one is now isolated. So this one's um, Sydney. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a data label. So if you click on that, you can see that the default is the actual number that's in the, that's in the table up here. So we're going to change that. So if we just click it for now, double click the label and then we're going to go to alignment and we're going to change the text direction. So it rotates to the tennis degrees. Um, we're going to put a word in here, obviously this is Sydney. But we don't want it going all the way off the chart, so I'm just going to drag that down into the column. And you can see that I have labeled Sydney. Now the bigger city in The biggest city in South Africa is Johannesburg. And once again, we, no, it's not, not Johannesburg, it's Cape Town. So we're going to isolate um, one of the columns um, and we're going to do the same thing. So add a data label. We're going to change this uh, alignment. Going to select the numbers and change it to text. So it's Cape Town, wasn't it? So you can see it's pretty pretty straightforward. Now I must also point out that there are different versions of Excel depending on um, which computers you might use. Like I know it's very instance, Macs use a, a different version of, of Excel. Um, but basically a lot of these options like adding chart elements you might find up in the menu bar. But for this for this version it's it's next to the chart, it makes it a bit easier to access. Um, so what we did here is we've, we've, we've given us uh, city names to each of these columns so it gives us more information in the chart and we're going to do the same for all the other columns now. Okay so there you have it. Pretty much all you need this task anyway and it's a very simple way of um, manipulating data to make it look a little bit better and to give you that, that visual um, I guess 
aspect of the data, makes it a bit more easy to read.